my dad passed away, but like all the best memories I have with my dad were cruising and going out to car shows or just cruises and low riding. Like literally that's what we did 24 seven. Since the day I was born, a kid, my dad always had a car with hydraulics. You know what I mean? And grew up with that. But I do remember always asking him like to pick us up in his car after school. You know, that was the coolest feeling ever. I have like a bigger extended family. Like the guys are more like my brothers and I have a lot of sisters. And that's that's another thing. Is there so many women lowrider now that it's awesome to see? And I went to a car show. And when I went there, I felt like I wasn't even in a wheelchair anymore. I was floating, floating because everybody there was in, it was, I was felt young again. Lowriders, cars, girls, you know, the whole thing, music. So low riding, when we first started, wasn't an easy sell. Everybody would always stereotype us and the word itself had a negative connotation to a lot of law enforcement, uh, the media, oh, it's a gang magazine. For many of those that are in disenfranchised communities, low riding has been a, a way to actually heal our own trauma from 500 years of colonialization to the present moment. So I was watching lowrider role models and uh, the city of Stockton did a lowrider cop car build and the episode was on that. I was thinking, you know, we should do that here in Santa Rosa. The actual building of the actual car has been a type of healing, very therapeutic, you know, from picking out the colors to uh, um, the murals that are painted on the on the cars, that in and of itself is part of healing for the community. For me, it was during one of our listening sessions with the Lowrider Council. They actually suggested it, and as soon as I heard it, it definitely got my interest. Very supportive from the chief of police. We all thought it was a really great idea. We're trying to figure out how to do it, but you know, working through the specifics, it's now a reality, and we're really excited about it. It's an opportunity for conversation. And I think that that's really critical in order to build bridges, to begin to make change within the community and within the police department. So I think that's the outcome of this project. I think there's more, but we'll wait and see.